All right, lunch hour. We're gonna get a couple deliveries done today on the Urban Arrow. Right now we've got two Uber Eats deliveries. One for 550, one for three something. They're all really short distance. Um, and so that's why I do them, because even though they're low paying, they're still worthwhile for me because of how short they are. Uh, it's currently about 12, 10, so lunch rush. And we'll just try to get a few deliveries in. It's a Monday, so things are always a little bit slower on a Monday. But we'll see how we do. So let's get to it. Okay, this first order is from the Lao Shishuan Dinky Town. It's just right up here, across the street. All right, and here we are at the restaurant. That's the one? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So we picked up that one. We'll go pick up order number two now from Sidewalk Kitchen. That's right across the street also. All right, here we are at Sidewalk Kitchen. I'm gonna pick up this order here. All right. Thank you. All right. That's order number two we just picked up. Head to the hospital. Oh, meanwhile, this Blaze Pizza will mark that we're there. Ah. gonna do is we will take a right through the dorms here. I prefer cutting this way because it's, uh, it's a bit more car uh, bike friendly. Right up ahead there is the U of M Medical Center, which is where we're delivering this order. All right, this person said the nurse is going to come pick it up. That's going to be on them. I'm not dealing with that. You need a ride? <laughs> Fun. Yeah, if you're not going far, I can take you. <laughs> That's delivered. Now we're going to deliver Uber Eats Order 2. Going to one of the uh, university buildings. It's an easy one. All right. I think I've delivered to this guy before. Oh, we got another Uber Eats. Oh, that is a reject. A Walgreens no tip order? I don't 
think so. That's also a reject. Okay, we're going down this one and then we're going to take a right. So you can see how much easier it is doing deliveries over here on the bike. Because um, you could just cut through so many places. Um, Delaware, East River Parkway. East River Parkway. You know what? I'm going to do that one. Got to... Okay. We are here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah. There you go. Thanks. Have a good one. All right. That order is delivered. So we just completed two Uber Eats orders. Eight, I think total of $8 or so between the two of them, which is not much, but it also took me about 10 minutes to complete two orders. So that's why you do it because I mean if you think about it on a per minute basis it was worth my time it didn't take me very long so now we are going to go pick up this um, we're gonna pick up this uh, DoorDash order from Blaze Pizza in any normal world a pizza order this one's actually a pretty big order. I suspect it might tip more than it says. The order offered me $7.50. But given how big the order is, it's possible the order will go higher. And in a regular world, I wouldn't do that order just because I'm on a bike. I don't want to carry a bunch of pizzas. But when I've got the Urban Arrow, I basically have a car. I can just stick it right in there. Blaze Pizza is just up ahead over there at this apartment building. Blaze Pizza. Excuse me. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Would you happen to have like a bag for these little things? No, no bags? Okay. Uh, that rubber band is the best that we can do, even though it doesn't right. work well with this little stuff. Yeah, okay. It's not Sorry. a problem. Oh, all good. All right. Here's this pizza and a bunch of miscellaneous things, which they just give to me loose. <laughs> this and secure it up a little better there all right so here we go all right you can see right there how I got it set up Just stick it right in there it's good to go it's like a car so we got a DoorDash order. So we just, we finished two Uber Eats orders to start. Got this DoorDash order from Blaze Pizza. And then I've got another Uber Eats order that I'm gonna swing back around. So two orders are done right now. Got two more in the queue. This here is a, the transit way is a bus bike route. It's a road that's only for buses and bikes which makes it work out very well, actually, as a piece of bike infrastructure. This one right here. In the winter, this is really good because they plow it and keep it really, really clean. And it's a smooth ride. Um, the, only, the only downside is if you're on a manual bike, 
it's slightly uphill the whole way which can be a, can be a little bit challenging if you're pedaling but on an e-bike like this it doesn't matter for me i just go and then coming back is good you really can just fly but yeah this is one of those interesting roads that i enjoy hey this is kevin with a uh, doordash uh which where are you i guess uh, I, I see you right there. I'm on this bike here. Oh yeah, this is, is so this cool. is the way to do it, man. See, I got all your stuff here. It's all Great. good. Hang on, let's make sure. That, oh hey, I appreciate like it. Oh hey, thank, you. thank yeah. you so much. Really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Thank so you. that order is completed. That was a good order. That guy just gave me. That was a thirteen dollar order, so it was bigger than I thought. Originally offered $7.50, they gave me $13. And then the guy gave me cash. It said 10 bucks cash. That means that was a $23 order then. So big money right there. Big money. Alright. We're gonna take a right here. And now we're going to do this Uber Eats order. Insomnia cookies. I think it was saying like five something. I actually I meant to screenshot it, but I missed it. So, but uh, looked like a pretty easy order. So we'll just go grab this one. Uh, that guy was so impressed that I came with uh, the I came with this bike. So yeah, here we are again down the Intercampus Transit Way. See a scooter up ahead of me here. It's a big area, very safe for bikes. You know, riding with buses, I don't care that much about riding with buses actually. Like, I find that they're safer. Um, you know, on this one, you gotta be a little careful because they can speed through, but I find the bus drivers are paying attention more. I wonder why that guy tipped me more. Like, he was so happy. <laughs> like, would he have tipped me more if I rolled up in a car? Or is it this guy came up on this bike that he thought it was interesting? I don't know. Oh. Oh, no. It snapped on me. What just snapped? Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what happened here? Something came out. Oh, on the back here. Oh no. Yep. That's not good. Oh gosh. Hey, so this is me back again. Um, so the belt on my Urban Arrow just just uh, popped off while I was going up that one hill. I was in the middle of picking up that Uber Eats order from Insomnia Cookies um, before the belt came off. And unfortunately, it's a, it's a belt drive. I don't know how to get the belt back on. You can't pedal it without it. So uh, luckily there was a bike shop. There's a bike shop where I am so I brought it in there and uh, the guy there doesn't know how to do it either but it's a it's kind of like a big chain so they're gonna they're gonna look it over and the guy sounds like he's gonna call someone and figure it out I'm guessing it's gonna be about removing the wheel and then getting the belt back on there but I guess we'll see how it works um, but yeah so in the meantime I think I'm gonna just call it right now Guys, I'll try to get my bike back in a few in a few hours. Hopefully, like he thinks within an hour, or so he can get it back. So we'll just do that. We'll wait. We'll see how it happens. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to hit up the library here and start working on the blog again, and maybe work on editing some footage and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, it's one of those things. So before I, um, before this mechanical show, I had just done three deliveries. So I had a DoorDash where they where it paid 13 and then the guy gave me a $10 tip. So that was nice, 23 on that. And I did the two Uber Eats orders that were real fast for eight. So I made $31 in about 30 minutes or so before the belt popped off of my bike and put me on a commission. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening right now. I am going to call it here. Uh, so yeah, thanks. If you like what you see here, if you feel like supporting the channel, you know, appreciate a subscribe, uh, shoot me a like, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey guys, just coming back in with an update about what happened. So my Urban Arrow was able to be fixed. I brought it into the bike shop and it turns out that one of the rear plates had come loose. And as a result, the belt drive came loose as well, which is why actually if you listen to the uh, video, you can hear during the video kind of the belt dry straining a bit and that's because it wasn't tight on there so anyway the guy was able to go ahead and fix it um, it took about an hour and a half or so and I could have it back up and running this footage here is of me biking home same day with my son from daycare so fortunately I won't be out of commission because we were able to get the bike fixed I have other bikes as well but it's nice to have my bike fixed and ready to go. It did impact obviously my earnings for the day because I was actually on pace to make quite a bit today, but because of the issues I had with the bike, I had to call it quits early. But anyway, so I ended up making about $9.40 from the two Uber Eats orders, which didn't take me long to do. And then with that DoorDash order, to the construction guy, I actually ended up making more than I thought because he actually tipped me $11, not $10 like I had thought. And that order as well paid $13.07. So together with the two, I ended up making about $32 in about 30 minutes. So I made plenty. And then actually on my way home uh, in this footage here, we actually dropped off a few deliveries as well um, I just don't include them here but maybe I'll put them together in a future video so anyway that's that um, thanks for watching and uh, like subscribe follow for more of this content